Hi everyone, my name is Chris Crenshaw. I'm a golf professional at the Sea Wayne Club in Hewlett Harbor, New York. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about putting. Everybody probably doesn't know that the putter has a certain amount of degrees of loft on it. Most standard putters are three to four degrees of loft. So I'm going to talk a little bit about setup and how we want to get the ball rolling. Ideally, when we hit a putt, we want it to roll with zero degrees of loft. So what we have to do when we set up over the golf ball, is we have to set up, we have to have a little bit of a shaft lean here that de-lofts the club so that we can get the ball rolling end over end as soon as possible. So what I do is I have a little forward shaft lean and I have a little bit of weight on my left, not much, but just enough to kind of anchor myself in the putt and stay steady. And what I'm going to do with the stroke is I'm going to try to make it like a pendulum and when I come through I want the butt end of the club to point back at my belly button when I finish. And it's very similar to the belly putters that have been recently banned by the USGA in the next three years. But the reason people are so good with that is that when they putt, the butt of the club is always staying anchored in one position so it's allowing to, that club to swing just like a pendulum. So when we have the normal putter we want to keep that in mind is that when we come through and back through that the butt of the club is always pointing at our belly butt. So I'm going to go through it. I'm going to set up at my target here. With, <clears throat> I'm going to have a little forward shaft lean and then as I come through I'm going to let the club release back and hopefully that will lead to better putts.